Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislowati. I'm an excellent phobia enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can split information in one column into multiple columns. Super duper easy. Let me show you. How do you split a column into multiple columns? There is a cool feature in Excel called Text to Column. How do we use this? Step one, highlight the data that you want to split and then you click Text to Columns. Now, you are then presented with two options, Delimited or Fixed With. Delimited means we're going to ask Excel to split the column based on a character such as comma or tabs to separate the information into multiple columns. So we're going to select Delimited, hit Next, and we're going to tell Excel what's the delimiter. In other words, what's the character that will split the column into two. As you can see, the character in here is space. So the default is tab, untick that, and click space. And you get a preview. The data is split into two. Then you hit next. Now, this is an important page because it gives you an option if you want to format the data differently. Say for example, if it's a date, you can format it so that day, month, year, or month, day, year, for example, but it is not a date because it's just numbers and letters. So I'm going to leave it at general in here. And then this section in here is also important. This is the destination. The default is the original place, which is B3. If you leave it in B3, the original data will be overridden. If you don't want this original data set to be overridden, then Pick a different place. For example, maybe put that in D3 in here. And then hit finish. And voila, you have your original column intact and your data is split into two columns. Let's look at another example. Now, this is my original data. I want to split them into three columns. So hit text to column. And I'm going to click delimited. And then I'm going to go next. And this time around, my divider is not just space. Yes, space is a good divider to separate the name and the numbers. But to separate the first two characters and the numbers, it is space as well as dash. So I'm going to add dash in here and I'm going to ask Excel to treat consecutive delimiter as one. Now you can see that the output will be three columns as shown in the data preview in here. And then hit next. And again, this is optional if you want to format the data differently. And the destination, very, very important because the default is always to replace your original data. So it always select the first cell. I don't want to lose my original data. So I'm going to again click somewhere else, say D3 in here and hit finish. And there you go. What if we want to split the information into five columns? So this is my data. I'm going to hit the columns. And this time around, I'm going to hit fix with because I've got no space, no comma whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is tell Excel that can just split it into maybe two numbers in each column. Oops made a mistake in here, what to do? To delete a mistake that you have made from this break line, just double click it. Yeah. Then you can click it one more time. And in fact, there is some reminder from Excel that to create a break line, all you need to do is click and to delete it is double click it or you can even move by click and drag. So for example, I can move this here, dragging yeah, and I can move it back, click and then hit next and destination again I don't want it overridden let me show you if you don't replace it and you just hit B3 look at that your original data disappear so if you don't want your original data to disappear undo hit text to column and let's repeat fix with and split click 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 next and in the destination in here, highlight a different cell. And your original data remain intact. I 
hope you find the video useful and see you next time.